Welcome to the AeroGS channel. I'm your host, Corey Bartolotti. In today's video, we're going to be installing an open French drain, and we are also going to be laying down a stone pathway on top of that open French drain. And this is going to be on the side of a client's home. So let's go ahead and get started. Now there's already a roof runoff system on the side of this home and there is a four inch PVC SDR 35 main line that runs through here. So we're gonna be locating that main line. That way we can tap our French drain system into it for it to be able to discharge. Before beginning any excavation, remember to call 811. That way they can come out there and mark any utility lines that may be in the area. And keep in mind, you still want to make sure that you dig slowly because their markings are not always accurate. Whenever splicing into an existing main line, you're going to want to dig at least a good two foot section around that pipe. That way you have some working room to be able to tie in whatever lateral or additional system that you're tying into it. Now this particular main line is actually straight piped onto the sidewalk. So it has a straight pipe discharge and this is the best type of discharge that you can have for a drainage system. Whenever tying in an additional system or lateral into a main line, make sure that you use a Y fitting or a combination Y. That way the water makes a smooth transition into the main line and does not slam to a stop. Like for instance, if you were to use a T fitting, the water would slam to a stop instead of making a smooth transition into the main line. When building a French drain, make sure that you line that trench with a good non-woven geotextile drainage fabric. The reason why this is important is because that fabric acts as a soil separator. It keeps the soil from migrating into the stone over time, clogging the voids. This will make it harder for water to get to your perforated French drain pipe to enter your system. This fabric is important. I cannot stress this enough. Without this fabric, your system will fail over time. It will work slower and slower and slower each year that goes by until one year the French drain stops working completely because all of the stone has compacted with the surrounding soil. The pipe that we will be using at the bottom of our trench is the French Drain Man High Octane Slotted Pipe. These slots allow a lot more water to pass freely through the system to be discharged out, as well as silt and sediment that may get into the system. Now, you wanna keep your pipe at the bottom of the trench. The reason for this is so that we can evacuate as much water out as quickly as possible. If you put a layer of stone at the bottom of the trench and then put the pipe on top of that stone, you're gonna have water always sitting at the bottom of that trench. You do not want this. Tree roots will sniff that water out and they will be more likely to get into your system. We are using three quarter to one inch stone in our French drain. This will create good sized voids for water to freely move through. Remember the bigger the stone, the bigger the void, and the bigger the void, the more water you will be moving. Now sometimes you're gonna be working at some very odd angles whenever you're splicing into an existing system. In a case like this, the best thing to do is to use a fern co or rubber boot to get that slight angle that you cannot get with a 22 and a half or a 45 degree fitting. This rubber boot will allow a little bit of play between the two pipes so that you can get that angle and make a good solid connection. When you close your French drain system up, make sure to not overlap the two fabrics together. Trim off any excess fabric that there might be and then either pin it or stitch it up. If you overlap those two fabrics, it's gonna create a thicker layer and this is gonna make it harder for water to get through to enter your French drain system. Once we have our French drain completely stitched up, we're gonna be putting weed barrier on both sides of it, but we are not gonna cover the French drain with the weed barrier. This is very important because weed barrier fabric does not allow water to pass through as freely as geotextile fabric does. So we're gonna leave the vein of the French drain completely open and only have the weed barrier on the sides to help keep weeds and grass and stuff like that from growing through the drainage rock that we're be putting down in this entire area. Once we have all of our weed barrier down, it's time to start running stone to the back. We simply just use a wheelbarrow to do this. Now an open French drain 
always works the best when you have stone placed over the top of it. You can always add this into your landscaping aesthetic around your home, but because it's an open French drain, there's just stone on top of it that allows the water to quickly travel through the voids in those stones and enter into the French drain and be carried away. While we were finishing this job up, it actually started raining on us. So you'll be able to see this system in action on a rain event. Now the straight pipe discharge allows all that water to flow out freely and any debris that might be present in the system is gonna easily be flushed out. A straight pipe discharge, as I've stated before, is always best compared to using a pop-up emitter. A straight pipe discharge has nothing there to impede the flow of water. The water can just flow freely out of that straight pipe. All right, so that just about does it for this job. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us out, helps support the channel. And if you live in the Tampa Bay area or surrounding counties, and you're experiencing rainwater intrusion into your home or a floody, soggy yard, give us a call. We can come out there, assess the situation, and help design a system that fits your needs. And until next time, this is Aero GS signing off.